Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley. Good morning, Claire. Aww. Juliet. <laughs> um, Magnus, good morning. Philip. Do we have on TV? Tomorrow's weather will be sunny, rainy on Ginger Island. And today's luck is neutral. It is actually Philip's birthday today. Well, He's going to get an earth crystal. Here you go. And um let's put the um actually before we do anything else. Let's take a look at what we've got here in the crab pot chests. Some fish stew ingredients and a lot of sashimi stuff. same some fish do ingredients and uh, some sashimi stuff and a crab to sell. Right. And uh, let's grab the milk and the eggs and get cooking. So today we can make escargot and spaghetti and then also our usual rich mosaic cake and rice pudding. And once again, as I've um, been doing lately, I will pause my recording for the time that I that I do my cooking. And um, I'll resume recording once the cooking for today is done. So see you in a little bit. All right. Here we go with the last of the rice pudding. And done. Let's put these away and sell these and then um, I do want to put this away as well. No slate in there yet, but I'm sure there will be in a while. Uh, Olga 
sent us the recipe for matcha latte as thanks for the coffee beans and tea leaves. So that'll be actually something that we can use the coffee beans for. Um, that'll get us some cooking exp. So that's nice. We'll have to take a look at the recipe, maybe like in the next episode or something. Oops. And uh, see what exactly it looks like. Maybe it is something that we should save coffee. Well, I, I guess we do harvest the coffee every other day, so we don't really need to save coffee beans for it. Just, you know, when we happen to have a lot of tea leaves, um, instead of putting the coffee beans in the keg chest, we'll um, make them into matcha latte. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Um, here we go. Garlic seeds. And actually, now that the kale has a one day head start, I think these will both be harvestable on the same day. Yeah. Let's go see our fish. Also, one more week till that's grown. Salal berry. So that's where you get those from. Right. And then bear berry is um, a thing that we've been finding in the secret woods sometimes. I think it may have been like a winter thing. This one's full. So let's fish a couple of those out. Hmm. I guess the other ones are going to be full soon as well. So may as well fish one out of each of these two. We'll then see if we manage to get a better quality fish than the one we fished out in its place. That's the way it's been going. So I'm assuming that that's the way it'll go in the future as well. There. Um, we've got a lot of row stacks in here. It will be nice to get fewer different stacks. With more row in each stack. And I guess we can just keep selling. Wait, did it put those in the trash? I hope it didn't. Oh well.
Let's go and see Morgan. We'll go in the front door this time. See about maybe triggering some kind of a, um, an event or something. And also see about the forager balls. Aha! Morgan, hello. With the Yobas guidance. I didn't know that the wizards were affiliated with the Yoba. Magnus impression. It was pretty good, yeah. Gathering magical herbs. Okay. Near a magical spring in the forest. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That Magnus impression was pretty good. Morgan? Yeah. Actually, I am. Um... Here you go. Yeah, 19 more daffodils. I'm very glad that the ones we found yesterday did all count. Ah, oh, nice. Let's go back to our nexus and go see apples. Apples, hello. Not well today. Oh. <laughs> well, would you like a star fruit? Would that make you feel better? Oh. I guess this is the too hot event. You've been decorating. All right, let's go see. It's very, um, foresty. Starfruit. Yeah, I do see several starfruit plants. Thank you. Plant friends. Hi, Donna. Big.
Holly. All right. Sounds good. More friends below. Ah, that's nice. Um, no stars on the star fruit, though. Um. Hmm, the cakes do have their work cut out for them, don't they? Maybe we'll make these into starfruit jam. And sell these. Let's look around for more daffodils. See if any, oh, there's one. Do they respawn every day? Should I come here every day? Um, to get the daffodil quest done sooner? Maybe I will. Plenty of daffodils seem to spawn here. I mean, there is other stuff too, like the wild horseradish, but also quite a few daffodils. So yeah, maybe I will come here every day until I get that quest completed and see if I can find more. There's one there too. I was originally thinking that it'd take at least a few days for things to respawn here, but um, I guess they respawn quite rapidly. Ancient sword. Plus, um, this is a place that we didn't find our way to yesterday so whatever forageables we have here are ones that probably have been here for a while so another ancient sword there's one daffodil Yeah, I think I will come back tomorrow as well to see what we can find here then. See if any daffodils have spawned overnight. that they seem to spawn here like uh, in a bit of an aban abundance helps get that quest done we already found several today as well Other stuff too, of course. Hello. Penny and Uri and Vincent and Jazz.
So is Uri like a special guest here? Guest teacher? She, she was a guest teacher. Don't see any daffodils here. Oh well, we already found plenty. We do need to find some more, but um... We've got over a week to get it done. I'm not worried. Any daffodils up here? Not at the moment. Linus? Yeah, it is very useful to learn to better understand the uh, movements of your mind. Eleven more daffodils. Let's see if we can find any up here. Don't see any. At least, not yet. Um... No? No. That's the wrong kind of flower. No daffodils. Oh well, we've got plenty of time to find the 11 more that we need. No worries. Wait, why do we have garlic in here? That's weird. That needs to be in the fridge. Well, I guess we'll be able to make some escargot tomorrow. Six twenty. What now? Oh, we could go see Crobus and uh, buy some solar essence, and then maybe after go into the mine and do a bit of a buck hunt. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Also, do we need to reset anything? N no. Oh, we can change professions as well. That's good to know. Krobus? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think it would be fruitful for you to um talk with Mateo. Let's go and take the mine cart up to the mine. Go visit the dwarf as well. Hmm, that is a mystery, isn't it? Here you go. Aha, uh -huh. full hearts. Bug hunt. We'll start on level 15 or 20. I don't know if there are bugs above level 20. Well, Already found two and one of them dropped a bug meat. Good start. Any more? Two more? Hmm. I think I'm just going to use my magic. To break these. Alright, more bug meat. Sadly, only one. Two more, nice. Now we need to find the stairs. Them. Mm, more bugs. Found the stairs at least. No, no bug meat. This one. Any more over here? Nope. All right. down. There they are. Any bugs? It is starting to get a bit late. We'll have to go home soon. <laughs> Oops. That wasn't my sword. Worked well enough anyway. Aha! Uh -huh. More bugs. And even more. Very nice. It is midnight though. We need to go home. Yeah. Bug, where are you? I heard you. Yep, 
30. And we have 18. So with more luck like that, one more day and we'll have it done. 21 more solar essences. Oh, right. We now find better quality gemstones. Um, that's a bit awkward, actually. Let's see. We could put the bones somewhere else. Mm. Over here with the other bones. I do need to put the ring somewhere as well. And I am kind of used to putting the stuff I want to sell into that chest. The, ro the um, squid ink can go into the row chest. And um, I guess that's mine loot. Uh, I do want to put the ring somewhere as well. But um, the smelting chest, where I'm used to keeping the um, equipment I want to sell is kind of getting full. Hmm. If I put it into mine loot, I probably won't remember to look there. So yeah. I'll do that. Good night, everyone. Mining level one. All right. And... 83,000. Well, um, in the next episode, we'll go looking for more daffodils, at least. Maybe also go looking for more bug meat. We'll see. And, um, I need to remember to go buy more solar essence from Krobus. And we'll see what else we end up getting up to. For now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.